So if your spirit's ever been crushed, yeah. your heart has ever been broken, yeah. you have felt it hurts too much to hope. You know, Dan stood out on the, on the corner on the street in front of St. Luke's one day and he told me, God lives way up there and I live way down here. God's too far away to hear me let alone help me. I was told once, my father abused me, my mother left me, my friends abandoned me, and so was God. It hurts too much to hope. Lewis told me, he doesn't understand, or did not understand. In fact, it was the last time he ever walked into a church. He said he didn't understand how the same people who passed the offering plates inside the building, passed by the poor outside the building. And he said that the church talks too much about hope for the future and does too little to help in the present. Our response, my response, is if we believe, if we really believe that the spirit of the living God dwells within each one of us, then we have to believe. We just have to believe that every time we take the time to listen to someone, someone for the first time or again experiences God listening to them. Every time we say to someone in word or action, I love you, someone for the first time or again, here's God say I love you. Every time we hold someone's hand, Someone feels God holding their hand. That's who we are. That's what we do. Believing that when our hope is in God, it never hurts too much to hope. We help people hope. Mm -hmm.